One of the first elements that we start modeling in a structure discipline is the foundation. Foundations can vary in type based on the material and size of the building. In this tutorial, we will focus on modeling a foundation from 2D documents. Also, we will cover the process of adding reinforcement bars to the foundation. So make sure to watch until the end and let's start. This is the foundation that we are going to work on. And as you can see, we have lots of details in here. Also, we have two different sections in this part, which we are going to use for adding the rebars. I added these parts in another AutoCAD so I can add them to Revit. If we go to Revit, in here you can see all of the levels and this part is going to be our top of foundation. We are going to model the foundation on this level. If we go to this part, you can see the grids. I created all of these based on the dwg file it is hidden so if i go to this part i can unhide it and we can start working on the foundation but before that i want to rotate this plan as you can see the north is going to be in here but in this case it is really hard to work on this so first i'm going to rotate this from this part for rotating a plan, we shouldn't rotate it from this modify and with this rotate. There is another way that we are going to use. In properties in orientation, you need to first switch this project north to true north and then we need to go to manage tab. In here, we have this position in this part. If you click on here, you can see this rotate to north. Then I am going to set this point, this center of rotation in this part, in here exactly. And then I'm going to click on this line and I am going to rotate it to here. So it is vertical exactly like this. And now we have a straight line in this part which we can use perfectly. To start modeling the foundation, we should go to a structure tab. In here, we need to go to foundation panel and we are going to use a slab this first option in here. Then we need to simply sketch the foundation. So in here, you can see that this black line is going to be our foundation and I'm going to just simply use this pick line for selecting them. In here, this part and then in here, this one here and this part. Now I'm going to trim them together like this all of these corners and then again i'm going to use pick line for selecting these parts so you just need to hover your mouse over one of the lines and then if you press tab all of them will be selected and then repeat it for all of the other parts too perfect now you can hit finish let's go to 3d view to see the foundation. I'm going to go to visibility and graphic and to the annotation category. Here I'm going to uncheck this one so we don't see any annotation and also I don't want to see any imported file in here so I'm going to uncheck this part in imported category too. And okay. Now this is the foundation that we just created and as you can see it is very thin so if we go back and check the height of the foundation in here you can see that it is 90 centimeter only for the top part we haven't modeled this part this is 10 centimeter which we are going to model later for now we are going to just change the type of this foundation that we just created for that i'm going to select the foundation and in here as you can see we have different size for the foundation but none of them is the one that we need so we need to go to edit type in here first we need to duplicate this type it is going to be a 90 centimeter foundation i'm going to change the name like this and then we can go to edit section for thickness i'm going to insert the 90 centimeter and okay perfect this is correct let's also check it from the elevation it is under this TOF, this part is top of the foundation, so it is correct. Now, there are two different ways that we can create the base of this foundation, that 10 centimeter base. So you can either select this one and just simply copy it on itself and then change the lines. You see this pink line, we need to create the base of the foundation on this part. 
or you can just simply create it again i'm going to go with the second way so even here i'm going to click on this part and then i'm going to first change the foundation slab duplicate it change it to 100 millimeter like this and then also i need to change the thickness to 10 centimeter okay and now i can just simply draw the lines i'm going to use pick line again on this part here and this part make sure you trim them together like this all of the corners and then i'm going to use pick line again and i'm going to use tab for selecting all of these parts together perfect now you can hit finish There's a warning in here, which if we go to the south view, we can see why we saw that. So to fix this, this part should be under this foundation. So I'm going to go to the properties section and in this part, height offset from level, I'm going to set it on minus 90 centimeter. So it goes under this foundation. Now, if we use the align dimension, you can see that this part is 90 centimeter and this part is 10 centimeter so what we modeled is perfectly correct next we are going to work on the reinforcement bars so we created the foundation and now we are going to place the rebars let's go to autocad to see the details better you can see that in the foundation plan we have different names we have different sections in here sf3 sf1 sf4 and sf2 these are different sections that we have in here we have sf1 and sf2 in this part we have all of their details and sf3 and sf4 is in here now with these details we know that if we for example want to add your bars for this part we should check the detail sf1 in here we should create all of the rebars based on this part or if we want to add the rebars for this part we should check the sf4 so now i'm going to create these rebars for this part i'm going to use sf1 mainly because well they are all the same and i'm going to just simply explain how you can do this so you can do all of these parts on your project too before modeling let me explain you this part first so as I said, this is the section for the foundation. This part, this highlighted part is the foundation itself. And then we have the stirrups in here. The detail for these stirrups is this one. We have the 10 diameter for the rebar and we should create them with 20 centimeter distance from each other. And also we have another type of rebars in here these straight rebars and the detail for them is for sf1 we are going to have two sets of this part so we have eight on top part and eight on the bottom and the diameter the size of the rebar is going to be 20. another thing that we should definitely consider while we are going to place rebars in revit is the rebar cover so you see in here that all of them are in six centimeter now i think we can go back to revit and if we need anything else we can come back and check this or we can check it from this part i'm going to start with creating a section since we are going to create the rebars for this part i'm going to create a section in here like this and then we can go to that view this is the section of our foundation and we are going to create the section number one SF1 in here. First thing we need to do is to set the rebar cover. So if I want to explain what is the rebar cover, if you select the foundation and you click on this rebar in here, if you want to add any type of rebar, you can see these green dashed lines around here. It is the rebar cover it is the distance between the edge of the foundation and where you place the rebar so you need to fix this on six centimeter to do that if you go to structure tab in here you need to open this reinforcement section and in here you can see the rebar cover setting open it and add new one 
I'm going to change the name to foundation rebar and I'm going to set the size on 60 millimeter and okay now if we select this again in here you can see the structure rebar cover top face and also rebar cover other faces I'm going to set both of them on foundation rebar that we just created now let's start with adding the stirrups first because that way it will be easier to add the rest of the rebars I'm going to select the foundation and click on this part now if you can see these types in here you just need to click on this part or select them from here I'm going to scroll down in here until I find the shape of the rebar that I want to use it's this one and then if I hover my mouse over this part over the foundation you can see that it is exactly in its place you can perfectly see the cover in here and I'm going to just simply click in this part if the rebar is not parallel to your view you can play with these parts you can change the placement plan and also the orientation until you see it this way now let's change the setting for this rebar first of all we need to change the diameter size if you open this part you can see that we have 10 millimeter diameter in here so i'm going to simply switch to this one the other information that we had for these stirrups was the distance between them so it is 20 centimeter let's go back to 3d view and in here first i'm going to select the stirrup itself i am going to switch to wireframe and in here to set the distance of these stirrups to copy them next to each other i'm going to select them and i'm going to change it from this rebar set change the layout to maximum spacing because the only thing we had in here was the distance between them and then i'm going to set this on 200 millimeter and this is the stirrups that we should have in here now let's continue with the second set i am talking about these rebars in here we have two set one in the top part and one in the base we have eight the, this is the number and this is the diameter so let's go back to the section and in here i'm going to first select the foundation click on rebar and then i am going to scroll up to here and i'm going to use this if i hover my mouse over here you can see that the orientation the placement is not correct so i'm going to switch to this parallel or this one yes this is correct and then i'm going to simply place it in here next step is to change the size of this rebar obviously this is not the correct size it is on 13 millimeter and if you open this part you probably can't find the 20 millimeter diameter so you need to create it yourself go to edit type duplicate this one to 20 millimeter okay and just simply you need to change this model bar diameter I'm going to change it to 20 and okay now this is the correct size for the rebar I'm going to move it to this corner and then I'm going to switch the layout to fixed number and I am going to set it on 8 like this okay we need to move them down just zoom out and then just simply drag them inside like this and set it exactly in this place now we just need to rotate it for the base i'm going to use mirror exactly from the center of this foundation and i'm going to copy them in here now if we go to 3d view we can see all of them perfectly in here now if you want to see them better if you want to assign material to them i am going to go back to consistent color and then i'm going to select all of them now if we go to properties section in this part i'm going to check this box so we can see them in 3d view like this and then i am going to select this stirrup and if we go to edit type you can either change this material create another one or simply duplicate this i'm going to change this and i will create a new one let's call it rebar 10 and i'm going to just simply change the color in this part let's change it to this red color okay 
for these rebars also you can do the same this was all the rebars that we have in here of course we have some extra rebars in this part as you can see 3 meter rebars length in this part I also want to show you how you can create this one and connect them with the uh, rebar that we just created in here so let's go back to the TOF and I am going to create another section for this part now if we go back to this section we can see that all of the stereos will be the same the same size and the same diameter but for this part for the rebars in here we are going to just change the diameter in here if you select the foundation you can see that the rebar cover in top and in this part is set on the foundation rebar and you just need to switch this one to foundation rebar too now for adding the rebars again we need to go to the rebar section select the stereo first this one and then i am going to switch to this 10 millimeter and i will just simply place it in here select the correct orientation and then place it simply like this now let's select it again go to 3d view and again in here i'm going to switch the layout to this maximum spacing with 200 millimeter okay you can see it so let's scroll down to this part and just simply check this 2d view now all of them are in here for the other set let's go to the section again and in here i'm going to select the foundation go to rebar again and scroll up to here i'm going to select this one and now i just need to switch to 25 millimeter and then simply place it in here this is not the correct orientation so i'm going to switch to this perpendicular to cover and then this is the correct way i am going to select it again and let's change the layout to fixed number let's set it on eight and then set them exactly in here move it to this part before we check them in 3d view i'm going to select them and mirror them exactly from the center to the base like this select them and let's go to 3d view you see these overlaps in here to fix it you just need to move these rebars down a little bit and these parts up to here perfect this was everything about the modeling of this foundation and how to place rebars exactly like the detail and sections i really hope it was helpful for you and you enjoyed watching it don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you next time